Greetings everybody. Today I will share my experiments and the customized workflow of the Quen Image Edit layered model that has been released and most of you probably have heard and might have tried already. Even though the FP8 version size is around 20 gigabytes, I luckily managed to run it comfortably and with tolerable gen time on my 12 gigabytes card. First of all, I would like to make it clear that I do not wish to claim this workflow to be my work at all. Even though I have made changes and modifications to it, it still is an adaptation of the original one that I found on Civit AI. The reason why is that all of the workflows I have tried, this is the only one that works best on my 12 gigabyte card. Credit still goes to its author named VS Links. I made modifications merely in an attempt to fit the FP8 version on the card because I do not like the results of the GGUF version that I have tried. Didn't work well, or maybe it was just my settings. But anyways, I also tested the BFT16 model and results are better visually. Okay, let's jump into the workflow. By the way, the author is pretty much into anime and cartoon. If that's what you like, please visit his Civit AI page and try the workflows out. Tons of amazing workflows. Here are the loader nodes, GGUF, regular UNET, CLIP, and VAE models. I have also added a LoRa loader node for future use. This is the important node. The multi-GPU distorch loader that makes running the FP8 model possible on this PC. Here, I also include the force and set device nodes for memory allocation to my secondary GPU. You can just delete or disable it if you have one GPU. These settings are crucial from my testing for the model to fit into 12 gigabytes as it offloads a set amount of model chunks onto system RAM while maintaining the compute process on the GPU. I will run a demo with these settings, so I connect the model to the Anything Everywhere node here. Now let's look at the model links. If you would like to try or have a look at the original workflow, you can click here. The second link is the author's post of his workflow on Civit AI. Here are the links for the UNET models, VAE and GGUF models. Two variants of the model can be downloaded from the Hugging Face repo, your choice. As for VAE, you need this specific VAE in order to run the model. The regular one does not work. As for GGUF files, there are lots of them, so you will have to pick the one that fits your VRAM. This is the note that can be found in the original workflow from Comfy Anonymous. It tells you the mapping of frame numbers or length to the number of layers. But this workflow will do that for you. You just need to select the amount of layers you want to generate with the slider. OK. Next, we upload our image here and enter our prompt here. The original workflow suggested that this is optional. However, I find it to work better with a short descriptive text of what are actually in the picture to help guide the model a bit better. This is the subgraph. All the calculations and sampling are done in these nodes here. Try not to change anything in the black nodes unless you know what is going on in these nodes. Well, pretty much all of them are the default settings and can also be tweaked but should be left alone if you are not sure. Here is another important note. The latent cut to batch node might not work on some comfy UI installations, even it is a comfy core node. As a result, you might get a red box alert. If that should happen, you probably need a complete update of the comfy cores and custom nodes. If you have trouble after updating, leave me a comment and I will try my best to help solve. It surprisingly took me almost an hour to get Comfy back up and running without losing any data. This Sage thing can be enabled or disabled from the main top level graph. I still have it on disabled for my 12 gigabyte system. Still won't work. Still don't know why. Here is our sampler node. I like it at 30 steps with a CFG of 2.5. You could try 20 steps, but I did not get a decent output. Also, hopefully, an acceleration LoRa will arrive soon. We can resize our images here. This node will calculate the shorter side from your longest side input. 
set it to true to enable resizing. It is actually not recommended to use very large images. In this demo, I will run a 1024 by 1024 generation. Okay, here we go with the test run. Okay, took me 22 minutes on this run with a 1024 by 1024. I will show more test results next with much less run duration. I might have forgotten to kill some apps that I have opened. Anyways, here are the results. I hope you like the video. If you do, kindly like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.